Hello everybody, I hope that you enjoyed my new and improved intro. In today's episode I will be talking about Ashes of Creation, whose title tells their own future. What you can see on the screen right now is my second time logging on, and as you can see, nothing works. I mean, clicking everywhere, but it does not do anything. So, after clicking for a bit, I did what all gamers would do. I restarted the game. Keep in mind, this is my second time logging into this game, and it does not work at all. And this is actually a fully released game. It's not in beta stage, it's actually fully released. Which is just ridiculous. And this is how it looks when you get into the game. You get your short loading screen, and then you can see news, which you can't click on, because before you can click on it, you get tossed into the pre-game lobby. And as you can see, they have a season event, that is nothing wrong with that. But, if you don't get the premium pass, you will not get anything out of it after you hit a certain rank. And everything up to that rank is minimal compared to what they give you if you pay for a premium pass. Here you can also see the quests that you have active. And, of course, you have the also common skin shop. So yes, even this game is littered with microtransactions. You can buy skins for exactly everything. Even for your griffon that you use to fly down to the battlefield, that you can only see for a few seconds. In my first battle, I could only pick solo play, which I had no problem with since I had not even tried the game. What I didn't like though was that the ping was just horrible. I have a good network connection and the ping was still just horrible. And as you can see, they even lock quests behind the premium pass. So if you don't have the premium pass, you will not be able to complete all the quests that you need to do in able to get anything out of their event. So if you want anything from this event, it feels like they want you to just cough off your credit card information and pay them to be able to get the season pass to get all the stuff and to be able to do all the quests. And after waiting for over one and a half minutes, I finally got into my very first battle royale game from Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. And this is your pre-battle area, where you can run around, test the controls, swing around this hatchet that you start with even in the battle royale game, fill out the controls, adjust the settings. What I can say is that the game actually looks pretty good, the graphics are okay, and it has destructible objects, which is always a plus in my because it's always fun to be able to destroy things that you see just for the fun of it. I mean, who does not like to just break stuff? In games, of course. Their mouse sensitivity settings were not to my liking. I don't know if I'm just spoiled with this slide as we have in most games, or if this is common, but I do not like it because I just felt it being weird. And I still had problems in the game to aim with any ranged weapons. And now we left our magical portal and we're flying down on our griffon to the battlefield. And as in any battle royale game, the first thing you want to do when you land on the ground is obviously to find weapons. Since this was my first time playing, I had no idea where to look or how even to do stuff because the only tutorial you get is what's above your health and stamina bar. It took a few attempts before I actually could equip the armor. I don't know if it didn't register when I clicked or something else, but at least I finally discovered how to equip your weapons and armor. And as you can see in the bottom right, that's your skills that you get for picking up a different set of items. Armor have one skill and weapons have one skill. What I didn't like with the skills was that they were not explained. I had no idea what they did well, of course, I knew that the invincibility would make me invisible, but I had no idea what everything else did, unless I tried it on someone or somewhere. Since this was my first game, I had no idea how the combat worked, so basically I just did a lot of button smashing. Clicked to do my attacks, I didn't even think of using my abilities, and I lost quite quickly. In my second battle, I could only pick duo, so I assumed I would get teamed up with some random person. I just hoped that this random person would actually know how to play the game. 
As we leave the portal, my teammate is flying off somewhere completely random and I just land where I wanted to land to gear up. I was able to try the horse riding mechanics and it was just weird. It just felt weird and the sensitivity was just so off. So when I finally found my teammate, all I could think was, please, don't run away from me. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I learned that the best armor is the ones with most stars. Somehow we actually managed to stay alive until the end game, and I actually also managed to hit that guy with my crossbow. Which was not an easy thing considering that it was super slow to aim with it due to the sensitivity. Somehow we won, and this glorious victory screen was actually extremely annoying. I couldn't click away from it, I couldn't leave the game and it just sat there for a very long time. I mean, please. Please let me get away from here and do some other stuff. Please. Let me go! And off to my last battle we go. This was also a duo team match, but for some reason I was all alone this time. I had learned some stuff from my two previous games, so I knew that I had to get a weapon fast and get a good armor. I was lucky enough to land and find a good armor as well as a good weapon. I even saw another player down by the tower, so I decided to give it a try and attack him. And thanks to button smashing, I actually won. I had also learned how to repair my armor and drink health potions. You repair armor by collecting mana and then repair it. And to drink health potions, you pick it up and then you equip it like you would equip an armor. The animations on the other hand was just terrible, it looked like I was chugging a light bulb or just a light. That guy used the transmutation skill, and I actually survived to the end just because I used my invincibility to sneak closer to the middle. I might have survived to the end, but I had no idea what I was doing still. These guys knew what they were doing, they had obviously played the game for a good amount of time, and I was just smashing buttons, trying to hit someone and not die myself. So what can I say about this game? Well, I did not like it at all. I had no idea what I was doing, it just felt like I was doing button smashing because I had no idea what my different skills would do. The battle mechanics felt clunky. And the only reason they made this Battle Royale game was because they saw that other Battle Royale games actually did good and got a lot of profits. Ashes of Creation Apocalypse was just supposed to be a battle test for their main game, the Ashes of Creation MMO. But since they saw that Battle Royale games did get a lot of profit, they decided to make it a standalone, fully released Battle Royale game. Filled with microtransactions for absolutely everything. A lot of skins, an event that basically forced you to buy a season pass to be able to get anything out of it. The battle mechanics in the Battle Royale game is not what I've seen in their MMO. In the MMO it feels more like an old school MMO where you have your skill bar and you're not as zoomed in as you are in the Battle Royale. My experience with the game was horrible, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Since the battle skills had no explanation, all I did was just button smashing, in hope that I would win. I don't recommend this game nor the MMO to anyone. And that's not just because it feels bad, but also because the MMO was funded using Kickstarter. They asked for $750,000 and they actually got $3.2 million was confirmed to a former CC that they had enough money to complete the game two years ago. But a few months later they started another Kickstarter campaign where they asked for more money for some additional content. And I think one of those additional contents were the Battle Royale that as I said was just supposed to be a battle test for the MMO. And they spent a year making it. The former CC also said that he expected the game to be pushed another two years, and that was actually last year. Because in his opinion they had not been working on the MMO, they had been working on the Battle Royale game, since all the information they got and development was revolting around the Battle Royale. The game also feels like a cash grab, because most of the money has been put into the Battle Royale when people funded the game because they wanted the MMO. That was, like I said, one year ago, and they still don't have a release date for the MMO. 
So I think that Ashes of Creation, the MMO, as well as Ashes of Creation Apocalypse, have their future in the title. An apocalyptic wasteland.